So I guess what I'm trying to say there is sex can actually keep you motivated to go to the gym. I thought I'd start this video with a quick physique update. I've just got back from a couple of holidays, so I thought I would just update you guys on how I'm looking. Honestly, there's literally been no change from before and after my holidays, and I ate a lot when I was in Spain and Greece, so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at at the moment. We're just under 180 pounds right now, and I think the aim is just going to be to get a little bit leaner over the coming months, potentially looking at getting down to around 170 pounds. Anyway, just thought I'd update you guys on that. On with the video. How's it going guys? I hope you're having an amazing day so far and welcome to my first ever Q&A on YouTube. I've actually had to break this Q&A down into two separate parts because there were so many good questions and I want to try and get around to as many of them as I possibly could. Therefore this one is going up today and the second one will be filmed probably in the next couple of weeks uh, and therefore I'll be posted in the next couple of weeks as well. So if I don't answer your questions today please do not worry I will try my absolute best to feature it in the other video. Right let's waste no time and get into question number one. And question number one is how are you comfortable showing yourself in underwear. So I'd start with this one because something I always chat about is confidence. My confidence is something that has grown over time. For example, a couple of years ago, I never ever would have posted myself walking around in my kitchen in my boxers. Like it wouldn't have even been a consideration. And something I always come back to now is why didn't I do that? And for me, it's always been down to insecurities. I didn't post videos of me in my boxers or even topless because of these insecurities. Now my main insecurity was always back acne or to be honest, full body acne. I had really bad acne on my back, as I said, and also on my chest as well. And mine used to be so, so bad. I worked on this and now it is so much better. So I think the key to confidence and walking around in your boxers on the internet is working on your insecurities. For example, if your main insecurity is your physique, I guarantee working on this will go a long way to improving your confidence. Next question is how do you keep yourself motivated? And then it has a little side thing that says I'm about to give up. First things first, please don't give up. I promise you it's gonna get easier and now I'm gonna explain how. I get asked this question a lot and I always say the exact same thing. Make sure you enjoy what you're doing. A big factor in creating good habits and staying motivated is to focus on enjoying what you are doing. Whether that's enjoying your training or making sure you're enjoying your diet. You're more likely to stick to something if you enjoy that thing and I can guarantee you'll find it easier to see long-term results if you enjoy it. Find a training plan that you enjoy and if you don't, make sure to change it up. The same with your diet, if you feel like you're constantly craving things and you're not enjoying your diet because of this, find a way to fit these cravings into your diet. I promise you, you can fit basically anything into your diet if you're smart with your calories. So the main message to stay motivated is to make sure you're enjoying yourself. Question number three is waist size and how tall are you? Uh, now this was two separate questions, but I thought I'd answer them together. So my waist size is currently 32 inches. The aim is probably to get it around to 29 to 30 when I'm at my leanest. The thing I always find with waist size though is people's waist can actually appear smaller based on the width of their shoulders. So I thought I'd throw in my shoulder width as well, which is currently 46 inches. Now it's 46 inches obviously around my shoulders, not just shoulder to shoulder, because that would be ridiculous. The other question was obviously how tall I am. My current height, well, not my current height, my existing height, since I'm definitely not gonna get any taller at this stage, is five foot nine or 175 centimeters. The next question is, what is something you wish you knew before you started your fitness journey? Now, this is actually a video I have planned very, very soon. I'm gonna run through the five main things that I wish I knew when I first started training. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you're excited for that one. But if I had to say one thing now, the first thing that comes to my mind is that you cannot compare yourself to others. For example, one of my absolute favorite quotes is you cannot compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 10. If you're in the first few weeks or months in the gym, there's literally no point in worrying about what other people look like or what other people can lift for that matter. Because for all you know, they could have been doing this for so much longer than you. As I said, they could be 10 years down the line when you're within your first weeks or months of lifting. And comparison is the thief of joy. All it is going to do is demotivate you and that's probably going to result in you giving up. So please, please don't compare yourself to others. It's fine to use others as motivation and to look up to others as long as you don't compare yourself to them. Question number five. What's the first thing you do as part of your morning routine when you wake up? So I think you guys would have seen this many times before if you follow me over on Instagram. The first thing I always do when I wake up is drink water. Before I do anything, I always drink water before hopping in the shower and cleaning my teeth, etc. I'll make sure to drink a glass or bottle of water. Something I always talk about is water intake, and that's because it is important to us for so many reasons. Hydration, energy levels, sleep quality, water is genuinely essential for so many things in life. 
For me, I constantly carry around a bottle of water with me and just sip it throughout the day, aiming for at least three liters per day. The next question is, do you take any pre or post workout shakes? Yes, obviously I always take pre and post workout shakes. Again, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see my pre and post workout routines. To be honest, I think this is just a shameless plug at this point. So make sure to head over to my Instagram if you don't follow me already. It means the absolute world to me. I'm literally always posting about the guys over at EHP Labs. Firstly, for my pre-workout, I take Pride, which for me is the absolute best pre-workout in the world. Like genuinely, it is incredible. I'm constantly trying to find ways on how I can have the best workout possible. And I've tried a lot of pre-workouts and this one is hands down the best. The best feature is the five stage caffeine release. So when you're training, you basically have constant energy and zero crash at the end of your workout. For post-workout, I have the vegan blessed protein by the guys over at EHP Labs. I always take vegan protein powder because of my acne and this is the best tasting vegan protein I've ever had. Also a little reminder, EHP is still running their biggest sale of the year. So if you haven't already, make sure to head over to their website via the link in my bio and use code Harrison to save money on your order. The next question is quite a personal one and that is what is my relationship status? I am single and have been for a while now. I'm the kind of person that doesn't really want to waste any time. Like when I find the right person, 100% I will invest so much into them. But that person needs to be supportive and they need to show me love. I think in the past something I've really struggled with is finding someone who is supportive of what I really want to do. Like I've not really found someone who wants to push me to become better. Instead, they'll tend to bring me down. Like I really want to find someone who is going to make me become the best version of me. For me, the best partner is someone who wants to improve as a person alongside you and not bring you down to the level. And that's definitely something I've struggled to find. But we'll get there and I am in no rush at all. I'm so soppy when it comes to being in a relationship. Like I want to give someone the absolute world, but only the right person. I just haven't found them yet. Now, the final question and probably my favorite one of the lot, is sex the ultimate form of cardio? I've heard it is with sort of an eyeball emoji. Honestly, I would say it is actually a very good form of cardio. I mean, of course, it depends on how long it actually lasts, but I suppose it can be very good. And that's for two reasons. First of all, you don't really think about it being cardio. Like when you're on a treadmill, I feel you're purposely doing it for the reason of doing cardio and burning calories. Whereas during sex, you're not going into it with the intentions of burning a few extra calories, unless you're absolutely obsessed with the gym. And theoretically, it's also very good cardio because unless it's awful, you're probably going to enjoy it. And as I said earlier, on the motivation question, enjoyment is so, so important. So I guess what I'm trying to say that is sex can actually keep you motivated to go to the gym. So that wraps things up, guys. I actually really enjoyed making this video and I might make this a regular thing if you guys enjoy it. So let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. As per usual, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Have an amazing rest of your day. Big love, H.